During the years 2017 to 2018, 263 containers of garbage were imported to Sri Lanka from the United Kingdom. According to the Basel Convention, garbage can be imported from one country to another at the discretion of both countries. However, a person of Sri Lankan origin living in the United Kingdom, with the assistance of his brother living in Sri Lanka, has imported these items. Violating the National Environmental Act No. 47 of 1980, the Customs Act and the Basel Convention. This illegal import was done through Ceylon Metal Processing Private Limited. Is Sri Lanka a waste basket or dustbin of developed countries? This is a real injustice. We as Centre for Environmental Justice came forward against this injustice. We don't stop just by opposing such injustices. We always fight for environmental justice in any national or international level environmental destruction. The Center for Environmental Justice, CEJ, is a non-profit organization dedicated to environmental protection. In particular, it deals with environmental law and operates under the theme of justice for all. It has a continuous and glorious history of 16 years in the field of environment. Against the illegal importation of UK waste, Center for Environmental Justice as well as its executive director, Mr. Hemant Vitanage, came forward as petitioners. And in this, the contaminants from this waste were leaking onto the earth, causing a severe damage to the environment. In this case, we cited the Basel Convention, for which Sri Lanka was a party and Sri Lanka has rat ratified it. Actually, according to the Basel Conventions, the transboundary movement of waste could be done only country which receive that uh, waste is agreeable to receive that waste. We don't have a proper waste management system in Sri Lanka. We always dump garbage into the garbage mountains. You might remember the Mitharamula tragedy. So in such a situation, we are against importing waste into Sri Lanka. The silent role of the Centre for Environmental Justice in providing protection of environmental law in this country is immense. They took action against the destruction of the Vilpattu forest and achieved a victorious verdict. This is only a small part of their role in protecting the planet. It is good to resist injustice and destruction, but better to be proactive with a foundation against it.